Hey guys, it's Joseph here with another video. I just wanted to make a quick video about what's on my iPhone 14 Pro Max. I've seen a couple videos of people doing this and I just kind of wanted to show what I use my iPhone 14 Pro Max for, what I have on it, and just to go from there and just share a quick video guys in case anybody was wondering. So without further ado, let's talk about my home screen. So for the home screen, I like to have the weather, the to-do list, and my Apple credit card balance, uh, things that I use the most. Um, I've been sick lately, so my to-do list is kind of empty right now, but I always use my phone settings. I use Gmail instead of the regular Apple email app. Uh, I also have my calendar, Reddit. Um, I use iRacing because I sim race, so I can always see results and stuff like that. YouTube Studio and YouTube always, you know, trying to... Um, you know, keep up with the studio, with people who are commenting, and I've been having a lot of comments recently, and I didn't expect some of my videos to have many views as they do, so that's really cool, so thanks to everybody. Down low, I have the uh, Bible app. Uh, when I read the Bible and read Bible plans with my with my fiance, uh, we can interact and do a bunch of things with that. Uh, I have Facebook Messenger, really just to interact with my race team. I use Spotify. I don't like Apple Music at all. Spotify is definitely the best, and then I have Messages here i like to keep the dock with things i use with notifications the most just to see what's going on so when i open up the home screen i want to see everything that i have going on here and these are the things that i use the most like safari discord whatsapp tiktok i mean i always see those memes on tiktok and i use discord a lot whatsapp for my bible study group and i really don't have any social media besides tiktok and it's just a private account that i just watch funny videos with on my second page i only have two pages i know people are probably expecting a lot of pages i only have two pages here in the corner i have some sports stuff uh, i have nascar espn fantasy football which my fantasy football team has been doing good uh, Formula One, IndyCar, and NFL, and I use Sports Alerts. Uh, I don't know if anybody's seen Sports Alerts or what it does. Um, I use the new live activity feed with this. This is really cool. Um, there's I don't think there's any games playing right now, but if there is a game playing, you can see some you can see some stuff going on here that is on the home screen with the always on display, which is pretty cool. So this is my preferred. I always keep track of sports and the games I want, and I'll come in, come up in the dynamic island too and you can hit it and it'll pop down it's a shame nothing's going on right now but if there was i'd show you if not you can look up a video for it so that's one folder i have a couple apps that i use for food the most these are the places i usually eat the most so i have this here when i click on it and and use it i have a school, quick little school app this is for my ipad pro good notes um, i even have notability but i use good notes more uh, Blackboard I really don't use anymore. Notion I used to use a lot, but I probably should start using it again. It kind of kept me organized. Uh, Google Docs, Word, just in case I remember something in a project or a paper I'm running. My FAU, because I go to school at FAU, and that's Canvas and Quizlet. Uh, you know, some basic stuff here. I have some, sh uh, I use some sheet Google Sheets. I, I used to use Drafts a little bit. I don't really use it that much. And then Duo Mobile, which is an authentication thing for school. Um, other than Spotify, you know, Apple Music's there, the iTunes Store's there. I used SoundCloud a little bit back in the day, same with Pandora way back. YouTube Music I've tr been trying recently. It's not bad, but I still prefer Spotify. Um, as for games, I don't use gaming too many, too much. This is just a general thing of games. I have Steam to check my Steam activity when I'm playing PC. Uh, my Xbox app and PlayStation app to see who's online. And GameStop, when I used to purchase things from GameStop, I don't even know why I really had that in there still. As for save drives, I have Dropbox, Google Drive, Clips, and Keynote. I don't really use that too much, but when I do, it's cool. Here I have a little music thing. I play some guitar, so I have Reverb, which I used to look at buying guitars. Uh, guitar tabs help me learn some songs. A tuner and Shazam. Those are pretty useful when you're playing guitar. So I have that there. Next, I have some of my video streaming apps like Fox Sports, NBC, Disney+, Plus, Netflix, Prime Video, Paramount, Hulu. I pretty much have all of it. I use sometimes Apple TV, USA, Peacock to watch some shows and stuff like that. I used to have Crunchyroll because I was watching Naruto, but I don't have that now. Netflix does have the OG Naruto though, which is pretty cool. And just for my finances, I have, you know, the Bank of America app, TD, TD Bank, US app, and PayPal. Uh, for purchasing, these are things that I buy, uh, you know, classic Amazon, Apple Store, Poshmark. I used to order some stuff on that. Same with, I track stuff in here too, with like FedEx. Uh, there's Shopify, eBay, you know, Etsy, Best Buy, and I use Parcel on my lock screen that gives you what's always on display 
real-time updates on your packages. So I, I highly recommend that, not sponsored or anything. Um, some for health and fitness stuff, you know, the regular health app, Fig, which was a really cool app to see what ingredients are in what, uh, Fit Index for a scale I had, and Life Sum, a, a lot of apps that, you, you know, um, there's some games that I do play on here, like Uno, Skate City was such a great game, um, you know, 2048, True Skate, Retro Roll, classic games, Uno, uh, people probably think I'm lame for a couple of, a couple of those game choices. Uh, some of my creating stuff, I've even rendered stuff on LumaFusion on my phone if I wanted to get something out really, really fast. So I have LumaFusion on there, pages for writing scripts, Lightroom for editing videos, my photos and my files just to get to them, and I'm doing stuff on LumaFusion. And this is just my miscellaneous stuff, you know, my calculator, LSP Bible, Apple Support, Enduring Word, App Store, FaceTime, Apple News, Clock, AnyList, you know, there's my insurance, Cam Card is where I keep all my insurance cards, you know, the wallet, notes, ring, weather, Twitch, Google Home, Zillow, you know, reminders, Apple Watch stuff, and the only thing, I, I have Facebook, but I don't go on it too much. And then I have a quick little gas section here for uh, GetUpside. It's a great app to save money on gas, and same with Exxon Mobil, so I use those. But here's my lock screen with the, my widgets. I turned off the always on display. I have a to-do list here with my app. And the time uh, parcels up here, and, uh, and the weather. So that's kind of how my lock screen goes and you go into there and you go into there but i just wanted to make a quick video of what's on my iphone 14 pro max home screen um and maybe it help people learn about some new apps reorganize them the way they want to i know i watch some of them to see how i want to organize apps and the wallpapers are by canoopsy who is a really good youtuber uh pretty well known tech youtuber so you gotta give a shout out to him he makes great wallpapers so that's the video, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. I do have an iPad Pro M2 review in the making, so hopefully stick around for that. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next one.